viene el gran chingón, el mero mero. appreciate it it's been like a week almost two weeks since i've done a video but i'm gonna make one soon i gotta shave so i will i promise you but i just wanted to come on here and uh, share with you i got some brushes that i'm really happy about for my brother jose at dark sanctum thank you my brother very much for all that you do all your hard work all your hard work that you and your girlfriend do is much appreciated by me and I want to say thank you for all, everything that you do. I know you put a lot of heart and a lot of love into your products, you and your girlfriend do, and uh, it shows. And that's all that matters, you know, is that people that like your products, and I do very much so. Thank you. I'm going to start off with a, a stone. This is a lime and salt lager from Stone Brewing Company. Hope you guys are doing well. I hope and pray you guys are doing well. Thank you very much for coming by, checking me out today. I'm usually very careful with the uh, with the caps. And I'm gonna show you guys why. The caps from the bottles that I open. Cheers, guys. Got it out of my fridge, nice and cold. It's a refreshing beer that tastes like salt and lime. Stone Brewing Company is from San Diego, where I'm from, so gotta support them. So I just took out my products that were in my bag here because I got them from work, from Jose. Really excited to show you guys. New brush. Always great packaging from Dark Sanctum. You can guarantee that your brush will come in safely. Nicely bowl wrapped. Double bowl wrapped. And he's added this nice touch to the a brush to protect the handle and not as you can see, very nice touch. This is a new touch of uh, care packaging from my uh, Dark Sanctum. This is usually a tissue that they put around the barber's neck when he's about to get a haircut, the client. The barber puts this on the client's uh, neck in order for any hair to go inside the back or chest. But here goes my new brush, guys, ready? Boom. Beautiful brush made by Dark Sanctum. If you don't know who Dark Sanctum is, Jose and uh, Karina, his girlfriend, they both work together to bring out, bring awesome products. And this is a uh, teamwork by them both. This is a 3D design, PLA Plus from Jose, from his home. This sports a uh, 30 millimeter quarter moon knot. And uh, it's a fan shape knot from Milton at Turning Shave, 30 millimeter. And uh, this is two tone. Look at that red. That red is beautiful with the glossy black on the bottom. But this is the uh, the X2. Jose uh, renamed the brush handle. And I'm not going to get into it why. I'm not here to share that. But he just recently changed the name to his uh, handles. So this is an X2. This is, this is the bigger design handle in this shape here. That's inspired by a, uh, another handle. Inspiration, guys, okay? Which I'm letting you, know, letting you guys know that other artisans do uh, inspirations for other handles as well. I'm not going to name names, but I'm just letting you guys know. 
other artisans do uh, inspiration handles and uh not every single handle but you do see some out there in the wet shaving community that some are uh inspiration handles and uh this is a new uh design here from uh dark sanctum which i'm about to show you his brush has been out for quite a while i've been uh showing in my videos but i'm really happy with this design and cozy did a great job with this here and i'm really proud of it but i'm about to show you this this new <laughs> you guys can see that that's a uh the reason why I was telling you guys that I'm very careful in the beginning of my video to take these caps off is because I saved these for Jose so he can put them on the bottom of his brushes and this is from a stone brewing company that's the uh, gargoyle there and he's there uh, drinking a mug of beer of stone brewing company beer brew I don't know what brew it is but uh, it's a stone brew but uh, what he did was he made a hole on the bottom of the handle there with his 3d printer and uh he set it in uh slightly deep not very much but then he uh his girlfriend helped him out in uh making the uh the coin the the coin the uh the bottle cap in there securely with resin if you guys can see that what she did was put the cap in there and filled it with clear resin. And it looks amazing, guys, if you ask me. This looks like a coin. From the, uh, you know, usually a brush maker puts this stamp, his mark logo on the bottom of the brush. But these are bottle caps. And I don't know if Jose will in the future bring out his own coin. But he's doing these bottle cap brushes now. And they look amazing, as you can see. It looks like a coin if you ask me but this is from stone brewing company and i saved the uh, cap there and i gave it to jose and his girlfriend karina was very nice to put the coin on the bottom there and seal it with uh, resin and it looks amazing i'll be putting the pictures down below so you guys can see this but pictures never do these brushes justice it looks much better in person here and i'm really happy with it thank you jose and karina very much for this beautiful brush keep doing the awesome work that you do and i want to say is don't let nobody bring you down you know you keep doing what you're doing i respect both of you and uh ignore negative energy you know there's a lot of people out there that just don't approve of stuff sometimes they're not happy with another person's making of what they're doing and i want to say is keep doing the, the awesome job you can't please everybody as we all know, in this wet shaming community world, you, there's always some hater in there and they're always going to be talking smack, you know, and just ignore it, you know, and keep the positive vibes and keep doing what you're doing with your awesome company. I really appreciate you both. Thank you. That's one brush. Let me get a sip of my beer here. Let me see. Hold on. Okay. I got three brushes here that I want to show you guys, but I'm only going to show you two because the other one's for a friend. It's going to the UK. And that is uh, my straight razor buddy, Matthias, from the United Kingdom. That just made, and recently made me my straight razor. I'm going to show you guys a picture of it too. Just recently finished uh, making me my straight razor on my choosing. All the way customized to my my pleasing here's my other brush right here and i just decided to give him a small appreciation token for me for doing a great job with my uh my straight razor handle a straight razor blade with scales I'm tired excuse me here's my other brush from dark sanctum this is the black glossy color he has this is the X and this is the X too. You can see the X is much shorter. The X too 
when you put them together slightly taller maybe by an inch i believe from the bottom of the handle but the x2 is a taller design much people like shorter handles it would be great this the x taller handle would be the x2 just letting you guys know just in case you guys are interested we we'll putting the links down below but here you go guys that's another bottle cap from stone the one that i just showed you from this bottle that i just opened let me get my kid because he's there and he wants me to get him give me a second you already came over, huh? You jumped. You jumped. Oh, wow. Thought you were watching cartoons, but no. I did that. You're bad. <laughs> He's so bad. He jumped over the fence. Oh, my God. But, yeah, guys, check this out. It's beautiful. Again, it looks like a custom coin, but it's not. It's a bottle cap. Dad, on the top Dad. of the beer. And Karina also as well applied clear resin to the bottom of the brush and it looks amazing guys it, she does a great job she also uh, sells other products on her uh, on their website i just got some uh some rose earrings but they're stained glass resin that she pours into the uh 3d print rose it looks amazing i got some from my fiance and she loved them i'm gonna be putting it down in the description below as well and a picture of her wearing them but canina made this Karina's Jose's girlfriend, which is partnered up, teamed up with uh, Tar Sanctum Jose, and they make awesome products, as you can see here. That's a beautiful, beautiful uh, sealed resin there that she applied to the bottom of the brush there. It looks amazing. It looks much more better in person, guys. I'm, let I'm letting you guys know right now, but pictures and video never do these brushes justice, and I'm telling you, it looks amazing in person. And I want to say thank you once again to Jose and Karina for making this possible. That's a steel picture right there. For making this possible. Thank you very much with all my heart. Truly appreciate you both. Keep doing the awesome job you guys do once again. Hold on, guys. He just dropped. He opened the toilet here, and uh, he's putting stuff in the toilet. <laughs> he's so mad. Thank you, my brothers, very much for joining me. I really appreciate you all and the support you've given me. Even though I'm not making videos right now, I it's hard to make videos with Junior, but I got growth on the face, and uh, I'm going to see if I can try to do a video tonight. I'll put him in the bath. I'll do what I have to do to pull out a video. I got a new soap in the den that I want to share with you guys, and... Uh, Stay tuned for that. The description will be down below for the products that I just mentioned in my video. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate the subscription, guys. Really much so. It means a lot to me. And uh, stay tuned for that shave. Have a great night, and uh, cheers once again. Want to say bye-bye? Come here. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye. Take care. See you later. Bye, <laughs> bye guys. Take care. Thank you very much.